The one day I woke up late may have saved my life. I've told this story in other places, on other accounts before, but it bears repeating. One day, when I was an elementary schooler, I think probably third or fourth grade, I was awoken by my mom in a rush. She had overslept, and since she always woke me up in the morning, this meant that I too overslept and now there was just no way I was gonna be ready for school early enough to get on the school bus. IIRC, school started at 8 a.m., and my bus pickup time was 7 a.m., but it was already like 6.40 or something, and I was still in my pajamas and hadn't even had breakfast yet, so mom decided that today, we would just tell the bus driver to go on ahead and she would take me to school, which would give me plenty of time to get ready. So I'm sitting there at the dining room table eating breakfast, still in my pajamas, and it's now about 6.50, we hear the bus pull up, about 10 minutes earlier than usual. My mom peeks her head out of the door, into the foggy morning and waves the bus on. She closes the door and comes back inside, but the bus doesn't pull away. There's a knock at the door, and mom opens it to find a man in a bus driver uniform, he explains that he's a substitute driver, because the regular driver called in sick. He says he knows he's a few minutes early, since he wanted to get an early start on the route since he didn't know it well. Mom explains to him that she was gonna take me to school since we woke up late. He gets visibly upset, and says that he can wait a few minutes since he's already running ahead of schedule. My mom insists that no, I won't be ready to go in a few minutes, and tells him to go on ahead. He seemed angry about this, but turned around and got back in the bus and left. I return to eating my breakfast, and still don't have my school clothes on at this point, but at 7 a.m. sharp, another bus pulls up to my house. Mom thinks this is weird and goes outside to talk to them. She comes back inside, looking terrified, but doesn't really say anything about it and tells me to finish getting ready for school. At the time, I didn't know what happened but mom would end up telling me a few years later. When she went to this second bus, she found that it was being driven by my regular bus driver, and it was full of all the other kids that are usually on the route, the other bus was empty. By the way, mom asks the driver about the substitute driver and about him calling in sick. I never called in sick. There is no substitute driver on my route, he says. The driver immediately called dispatch in a panic and told my mom to go inside and call the police, which she did, without me knowing, and report this incident. There was absolutely no one doing my driver's route that day. Whoever this was, was most likely a kidnapper who had targeted me. I never heard anything about it again, not even if someone else had ended up being picked up by this mysterious fake bus driver, but chances are, had I gotten on that bus. I would have never made it to school, or back, home, and if mom hadn't overslept on that specific day, I would have been, on that bus. My dad saved me. I was 13 years old at the time, now 22, and on vacation with my parents in Turkey. We were in an all-inclusive hotel and enjoying the holiday. The hotel was full of tourists, from different countries, there was this one guy around 20 who was staring at me for some time, I felt uncomfortable and asked him how he was doing, wrong choice, the next few days everywhere where I was he also suddenly appeared, not flirting, just lurking for hours and watching me, he had a really strange vibe around him and I felt I shouldn't be alone with him, now, I was still young so my parents didn't want to leave me alone in a foreign country, so he could not bother me, but one night there was entertainment in the hotel, which became boring to me after some time. I told my parents I wanted to go to my own hotel room and I would see them in the morning. I left and walked to the elevator. What I didn't know was that the guy who was watching me for days saw me leaving and he had followed me. When I saw him also coming and I was in great fear, he looked at me silently with a sinister smile. This is it, I thought, rape, assault or maybe even worse. And just before the doors of the elevator were closing someone stuck his boot between it in order to prevent the doors from closing, I am not kidding, all I could see was a boot, the doors opened and it was my dad, he saw that the creepy guy was leaving at the exact time I had left and didn't trust it. He looked the guy in the eye and said hello, 
My dad took me to my hotel room. To this day I am so glad for the rescue because I don't want to know what would have happened if he didn't. I was kidnapped as a child. Updated. I'm a girl. My mom was a horrible addict. She barely took care of me as a kid. At the time of this incident, I was around 6 or 7 so my awareness and understanding of things happening may not totally make much sense. This happened in the 90s. One night my mother and I were on a car ride. I wasn't sure why we were driving, but it was late at night. I'm not sure what time it was but I assume it was really late because there weren't many cars on the street and I was sleeping in the back seat. I don't even remember getting in the car. My mom drove up to some sketchy house and left me in the car for what felt like forever. Suddenly the car door swung open and someone violently grabbed me by my arm and yanked me out of the car. I started screaming and crying until the man that grabbed me looked in my eyes and said, be quiet and don't try to run or I'll kill you. He had a scruffy beard and looked like a madman. I was scared to death, so I listened. He held me tight by my arm, shut the car door and walked with me down the street. I looked back at the house my mom was in hoping that my mom would come out the last second and save me. I looked at the house as long as I could as the man dragged me further and further away. As we walked down the street, I wanted to cry but I was in shock and in fear. I didn't know what to do. If I sniffled or cried the man would tighten his grip and yell at me. I can't even explain how scared and confused I was. We walked for a little while and ended up in the projects. The projects were a bunch of buildings crammed together in a shitty neighborhood. We walked into one of the buildings and walked up a flight of stairs. My legs and feet hurt like hell but I was too scared to stop moving or complain. We walked up another flight of stairs when I saw some random guy smoking a cigarette in the stairway. Then without warning the guy that kidnapped me fell to the ground. It happened so fast. I didn't know how the kidnapper fell to the ground so fast but the next thing I remember is the cigarette guy was ouching and kicking the kidnapper in his head and face. The kidnapper was out cold. Cigarette guy picked up the kidnapper by the back of his jacket and threw him down the stairs. You have no idea how scary and violent it is to see an unconscious man fall down the stairs. To this day, I still have a fear of falling downstairs. He bled everywhere. I still have no idea how cigarette guy knew to help me but I'm glad he did. Maybe he could see tears in my eyes. Maybe he just picked up on something and had a bad vibe. But he acted instantly. The first second, he could. He attacked my would-be kidnapper. Cigarette guy starts pacing back and forth swearing at himself. Gritting his teeth and clenching his fists. I thought he was mad at me so I started to cry. He looked at me and said. Okay 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 shut up shut up. He had an attitude so I listened to him out of fear. I wasn't as scared of cigarette guy as much as the bearded guy but I was still in fear of him. He started to ask me questions with an attitude. Why are you out this late? Where are your parents? Why would you talk to strangers? I was in so much shock and confusion I couldn't answer the man's questions correctly. He asked if I knew my way home and I told him I didn't. I told him a broken story about what happened and somehow with the information I gave him he knew where my mom's car was. The only thing I remember about the road is passing a house with Christmas lights on it despite Christmas already being over. I think he knew the area well enough and figured out where I needed to go from that information but I honestly don't even remember telling him about the Christmas lights. Anyways he told me he would take me back if I promised over and over that I wouldn't tell the police that I saw him or anyone that looked like him and made me promise that I wouldn't even tell the police anything. He had an attitude, I didn't care what he asked me I just wanted to go back to my mom so I agreed. I followed him down the stairs. The bearded guy was still laying on the ground bleeding at the bottom of the stairs that cigarette guy threw him down. He wasn't moving at all. For all I know he was dead and I hope now that he was. Cigarette guy stepped over the bearded guy and I followed. We walked outside and cigarette guy looked around panicky. I remember him telling me the police don't like me. We walked out of the projects and my feet still hurt. Cigarette guy was walking fast in a panic and I had to basically jog to keep up with him. I started crying and he asked what was wrong, I told him my feet hurt and I remember him sucking his teeth and picking me up with an attitude. He awkwardly cradled me in both arms. He walked down the road for a moment. Then I remember him swearing and running behind a house or a building. A cop car was driving down the road. He put me down and told me to run to the police car. I tried to run but my legs could barely move and I was scared. The cop car kept driving and rode away without seeing me before I could even get remotely close to it. He kept swearing to himself as he picked me up again and ran down the street. 
he took me behind a lot of houses and hid from every cop car that drove by. I assume now that the police were looking for me. He carried me in both arms running fast down the road when I saw my mom at her car in the distance. She was surrounded by police. Cigarette guy put me down and told me to run to the police. I got so excited the pain in my legs disappeared. He put me down and ran away. I ran towards the police and my mom. My mom picked me up and hugged me tight. The police started to ask me and my mom questions. I don't remember too much about their questions, but I remember my mom telling the police some convoluted story that just didn't make any sense. She basically told me to not say anything and I didn't say much but cried a whole bunch. We went home. Days later my dad picked me up and knew something was wrong. I told him everything. I never lived with my mom again. When I grew up and had time to think about that day I never forgave my mother. Not too long ago, I asked my dad what he remembers about the situation and he told me what he thinks happened from what I explained to him from years ago. He said my mom was on a drug binge. I got kidnapped. Someone saved me but the person that saved me had warrants and wasn't mad at me he was just frustrated with the situation that he had to deal with. Imagine, being a criminal on the run and now you have a kidnapped girl with you and you just beat a guy up half to death. If he would have gotten caught with me, he could be in jail for my kidnapping. With my mom lying and me being in shock and confused I wouldn't be able to tell them that the man helped me because while it was all happening I didn't even notice he was helping me. To the man that saved me thanks. To the man that tried to kidnap me. Let's not meet. Update. I think I found cigarette guy someone on reddit knows a man with a similar story. I hope both people are the same. So far it looks like it's the same man that saved me. I'll keep everyone posted. Update 2 dash. I need help. My update post was removed by the mods. I don't want to break any of the rules on here, so how do I keep everyone updated without getting my posts removed? Update 3 dash. I finally received confirmation. I found cigarette guy. Die to the rules of this subreddit, I can't keep posting updates. So I'll update 